Hello everybody, this is Youssef and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make another uh, Persian dish called Kalampolo, which means uh, cabbage and rice. So I'm going to make it my own version because there are a few different Kalampolo and depends on where it has been originated. Like at the cities, it's just like a Kalampolo Shirazi. Uh, I'm making it my own way because it's a different cabbage that they use in uh, Shiraz and also uh, mine is uh, just a regular cabbage they use just this, those big solid one piece cabbage which I don't know the name and they just uh, cut that in a half an inch as a cubic and also the way that I make it with the meat that I use is just their mince regular ground beef versus you know they using it a small meatball and also there is a Kalampolo Tehrani which comes from Tehran and Kalampolo Azari which is belonging to northwest of Iran now let's go to make my own version and go over the ingredients the main part is a cabbage this kind of cabbage that I'm gonna cut it and I'll just in small pieces and I do have a mince or ground beef which is about like a 700 grams or one and a half a pound and uh, I do have some uh, herbs which includes as basil chives and tarragon so it's uh, I, I can't tell you the, the weight but it's just been small bunches of each so we're going to cut this and uh, uh, slice it down to the very small pieces then I have the rice is a two and a half a cup rice that we are going to make it in half a way then drain the water and then uh, we're going to mix the ingredients together I do have uh, some liquid saffron about one teaspoon ground coriander one and a half a teaspoon black pepper one and a half turmeric and one and a half a, a teaspoon salt uh, to be honest with you the salt and a pepper it all depends on your taste you can add it or make it more or less and I have one full onion I cut that already chopped that and I have one lime that I'm gonna use that for the juice for the food and obviously uh, or a cooking oil now the first thing that we're gonna do is going to saute the onion as soon as it turn the color then you're gonna add the um, meat and saute that and together so here we're going to use uh, like about four or five tablespoon of cooking oil mine is uh, grape uh, seeds oil and uh, so uh, you use whatever your favorite cooking oil and uh, after as I said you know just start turning the color on the onion we're gonna add the meat and some of the spices okay while uh, the, the uh, onion are uh, cooking sauteing we're gonna chop this cabbage and take the core out and uh, slice the cabbage like this then I'm gonna wash them and I saute these also in a separate pan all right it's, uh, it's a time to add the turmeric to onion and just go about like a 30 second then we are going to add our meat all 
also at the same time that you're going to add our black pepper and ground coriander. Let, let them cook together and let all the color change. So we're going to cook it for five to seven minutes. Then we put it aside and start sauteing the cabbage. Uh, while this meat is cooking, let's go and we are going to chop our herbs and veggies and we come back to check on this one. All right, the, the meat uh, actually is uh, done. It's almost, uh, you know, it cooked enough. So I'm gonna put it aside and for sauteing our cabbage, because it's uh, cabbage is, seems too much, although it's gonna shrink, but uh, it's not gonna fit on this one. So I'm gonna saute that in a separate pan uh, or something like this and uh, just uh, not too much, a little oil also, and uh, so let's uh, saute our cabbage. So that's why I have to do it separate. It looks too much, but it's going to be shrinking. It turns to maybe one tenth of the size. While the cabbage is going to be sauteed, we start putting our rice also to cook the rice in half a way, as I said. Then we're going to drain the water and uh, mix all the ingredients to, together. So, uh, like every time that I'm going to make a rice, I add some salt to it and uh, it's not going to be too much, but it holds the rice, the shape together and we're going to drain excess salt by washing it with the cold water. You see the volume of the cabbage going down and uh, it's uh, time to add the, our herbs and uh, saute them together. All right, it's the time to drain the excess water off of the rice. And try to wash out the salt out of it and make it ready to mix with the rest of the ingredients. This uh, combination of cabbage and herbs are been cooking about 10 minutes. Uh, already and uh, I look to me it's uh, green is not enough so since I don't have the fresh one I'm gonna add a little bit of dry uh, basil and tarragon about one tablespoon of each and cook them together for another five minutes or so, then, then we mix all the ingredients, which is uh, meat, onion, and uh, saffron, all together. And let it cook for another five more minutes, and then we mix them with the rice. And also a little bit more oil, because you know I add some dry ingredients, 
So prevent of burning. All right, it uh, looks great. It's been uh, the color that I like and uh, it's a time to add the meat to it and uh, let them cook for another four or five minutes then we're gonna mix all together now also it's a time to add the saffron meat also it's a time for our salt remember the salt is uh, very depends on the taste and you can add it more or less so comes to your own taste A little more saffron for the color and aroma and it tastes also. So it's pretty much ready. Okay, this is the last ingredient gonna go into, which is a, a, a lime. And uh, I start squeezing a fresh one. Okay, uh, for making a rice back together in the pan, I add some oil on the bottom because of the preventing of from burning the rice. Also, it's going to have a nice, beautiful, uh, crispy rice also for just getting a better color and a taste. Also, I'm going to add some saffron in there too and uh, we are ready to go and to mix them together okay and uh, here we go all right I put some rice on the bottom and then we're gonna add our meat meat and herbs on layer by layer a little bit of rice little bit of this mixture All right, I'm gonna add the rest of the saffron to it with a little bit more water in the saffron. And uh, you put it in a high heat for just uh, five to eight minutes. Then we reduce the heat and uh, put that kitchen cloth in about another 35 to 40 more minutes and our food is going to be ready that's what we're going to do it's nice and ready 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 there we go we put a few holes like this to a steam goes all over to make it faster to be cooked and evenly it's been about seven, eight minutes. As you see, you know, steam's coming all over. So it's a time for putting a kitchen cloth and reduce the heat for another uh, 35, 40 minutes. Then our food is gonna be ready. 
Okay guys, our food is ready and as you look, it's so beautiful and uh, also it's delicious. I wish you could have some. And uh, this is a actual Kalampolo, my version, and with a, a tadic, uh, crispy rice at the bottom of the pan and uh, yogurt. That's what you people uh, like to eat it with that. And some people use that the torshi or uh, pickled uh, vegetable. It's a, it's a homemade, I made that. And there is a, a seven or eight different vegetable and some spices. So we're gonna go over that one day and show you how to make it. So, uh, also you can eat this with the salad, especially salad shirazi or uh, just any kind of sabzi khordan, which is a different kind of uh, herbs. All right, guys, I really thank you so much for watching this. I hope you make this and uh, enjoy it uh, because it's really, really delicious food. And uh, let me know the result. Also, thank you for being uh, patient with me. And I love you subscribe my video channel and tell your friend to see. Till next time, thank you very much. Bye.